morning. Morning, friends. So today is another big day here in Canada. Driving the Ice Fields Parkway? Yeah, we have lots of different stops along this road. Um, it's a big stretch of highway. I don't know how many stops we have. A lot. Lots of scenic overlooks, many little hikes. And yeah, see some glaciers, hopefully wildlife. Bears. Yeah, hopefully. We've seen black bears, we've seen grizzly bears so far. So, I'm all about seeing bears for my vehicle. <laughs> mm -hmm. You have but makeup what? on your thing. I do? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you. It's a blooper. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like, not gonna come out. <laughs> okay. I'm bare out. <laughs> Anyways, what I really wanna see is a big old moose. That's my favorite animal. Let's get started. Icefields Parkway, here we go. <laughs> just started driving and there's a black bear. Black bear number two now we've seen during our trip here. <laughs> Icefields Parkway is a 144 mile drive that links Lake Louise and Jasper, Canada. So this is Bow Lake and the reflection is amazing. It's considered one of the most beautiful drives in the world and we couldn't agree more with that statement. It winds its way along the continental divide through the Canadian Rockies along turquoise lakes and you'll see over a hundred glaciers. Right behind me is the Crowfoot Glacier. It's very mind-blowing to see in person. So we are at Pedo Lake or Pedo Lake. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, but there's just like a one mile loop here. Um, so we're just gonna go do that little hike quick. Okay, so the correct pronunciation is Pedo Lake. And just like Lake Louise and Moraine Lake, this is one of the most famous lakes in Banff National Park as well. The view from the lookout platform of Pedo Lake is simply spectacular. Crazy, it's cloudy out and the lake is still really blue. I know, beautiful. I think it'd have to be sunny out. So I've been really, really into peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I haven't had these for so long and I don't know what sparked me to put peanut butter and jelly one day. And now I have one like every day. They're so good and so simple. It's gotta be strawberry jelly and Skippy peanut butter. <laughs> One thing you must do along the drive is stop off and enjoy the ice blue rivers that run along the ice fields parkway. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, and a perfect place to just take a quick break on the drive. We just crossed into Jasper National Park. Right at the beginning is the Columbia Ice Fields, which has a huge glacier here that we're gonna go hike to. It's like one mile to go see the glacier. The Columbia Ice Field is the largest ice field in North America's Rocky Mountains. And along our hike up to the glacier were markers of how much the glaciers have melted since previous years. It was kind of sad to see. This is the Athabasca Glacier, just one of the six glaciers that make up this entire ice field. You can keep going and walk on the glacier, but we decided just to view it from a distance. Our next stop after the Athabasca Glacier was the beautiful Athabasca Waterfall. This was just a quick stop for us as the falls are just a short walk from the parking lot. It was definitely a must-see waterfall. The Icefield Parkway Road all the way from like Banff to Jasper, um, there's so many stops and so many things to do. We couldn't fit it all in one day. So this is like the first part of all the sites we're seeing, but I'll be creating another vlog um, with all the other 
things we want to see. There's still more waterfalls, glaciers, and stuff we'll be doing. So this is like part one of Icefields Parkway. Literally one of the most beautiful drives in the entire world. We are in the town of Jasper right now. We're kind of running some errands here before we head to our campground. We're gonna check out a Canadian liquor store. Ooh. Jasper Brewing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> 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 we are all stocked up. We got all the wines. We got Prosecco. Vince got Jasper Brewing beer. I would hope we're stocked up. <laughs> we're <Jeez>. good. <laughs> Next up, groceries. <laughs> they have classic old Dutch potato chips. We haven't seen old Dutch in the U.S. for so long. I was looking for it the other day actually and they didn't have any. But they have it in Canada. <laughs> Jasper was a success. We got gas, groceries, and wine and beer. Now we can head to the campground. We have another riverfront campsite tonight. So this river is like ice blue. <gasps> I love camping. Real fancy, we got some cheese that's here. And I have some Triscuits and hummus. Snacks by the river. <laughs> Not complaining at all. Got some local beer, Jasper Brewing Company. Chris Pilsner. <sighs> nice and light. It's good, it's good. Best spot in the campground. <laughs> okay. So I hope you can hear us okay. I know the river is right here flowing literally right in front of us. But I figured I'd give you our campsite, campground details. So we are in Wapiti Campground in Jasper. So just make note it's the one by Jasper, not by Canmore. Because I think there's two campgrounds with the same name. There's one down by Canmore and one by Jasper. We are riverfront and we're staying here for two nights. And we have our own little like nook. Like, little path down yeah, to the river. Just like the perfect little path to the river. We are in site W27. So we're kind of like the first one on this section for the river sites. So just know this is a really big campground, um, but section W is like the forested area. That's where we are. The rest of the campground area is pretty wide open and like not really forested. But if you can get into section W on the river, site 27 or after, all the way to the end. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so cheers! Oh, it's cold! So the river has like a black sand that we were walking in and our feet are just full of black sand. And we have an outdoor shower, so I'm gonna try it and rinse off our feet. Never used it yet, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> And I think there's still some antifreeze in it from when we winterized it. So I'm sure there'll be a little bit of pink in there. Oh yeah, there's some pink. It even had hot water. It has hot and cold. So yeah, it was already like heating up hot water because I was using hot water. So I could see some outdoor showers in the future from here. All right, tonight we're having a steak dinner, some ribeyes, triple A Canada beef. I think that means that's like choice in America. So that's, I think is the best kind you can buy. I don't know, looks great though. And some roasted garlic and Parmesan baby reds and some potatoes, a little lazy, but it's easy. <laughs> and our leftover salad from the other night. A little bit of red wine and whatever the wife is drinking, I don't know. Got some South Africa wine. I've been there. I know it's good. So we don't have a measuring cup for our meal. We need to measure out two cups of water. So we're using our coffee because it has slimes. 15 ounces and a little more because you need 16 ounces. There you go. Look at these buttes. Yeah. Some nice marbling in there. Got Lowry's, pepper, just olive oil. Simple.
There it is, the finished product. This looks so good. I'm gonna try the wine. Mm. Is it good? Nice and dry. Go good with the steak. I'm not a wine connoisseur, but it's good to me. <laughs> Vince did it again. I say it every night, but he's the best camp cook, I tell you what. I'm gonna try the steak first. Ooh, yes. All right, ready? Mmm. That's a ribeye? Yeah. Wow. It's a really good ribeye. Is it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Excellent.